something else. Hi, it is a lock. So, so let's go read the line from the book. So, maho no kakata jo dake de naku. Fu no tsu jo. Futsu no jo mo. Okay, so here he asks a question. No ka? Akerareru no ka? Can it be open? Can what be open? Jo mo. Meaning, can the lock also be open? What kind of a lock? Futsu no. A lock that is a lock normal. that is normal. Right. Uh, Perfect. Um what else about the lock? Mm. So this clause? this does look like a relative clause. This dewanaku means um instead of basically. Uh, tends to be how it's used. And here it said, but since we have a dake, what does dake mean? Dake is a restrictive mm -hmm. category. Yeah, that only it's word. Only this. Right. So it's saying instead of only doing this, can it also do this? So basically, it's it's a way in this context, basically saying it can do this and can it do that? But it's making it show that it's so the. Takedenakus instead of only this. So it's saying this and that. So it's a fancy way, I guess, of doing and in this context. So he's referring to the kage ishi. Um, it can can it open normal locks, not just open what kind of locks? Maho no kakata. Jo. A lock that was placed under a spell. A kakata is something yes. put on. Yes, exactly. To be in covered in a spell. Of... Yes, perfect. That right. is exactly what kapata means. So all together, what does the sentence say? String it together. Um, he asked the question, could this, right, this is insinuated from the previous, this is also the, the subject. Mm -hmm. Could this also open Normal locks and not just magical locks. Perfect. And just not just is the locks with dake. magic. Yes. Yaku. Perfect. Do you know what yo yaku means? Yaku is like doing. You're right that yaru means to do, but yo yaku is a adverb that has no relationship to any other word. Yo yaku. Yo is like that. Yo. Um. So no, yo yaku means finally. If this had kanji, yo. it'd be yo yaku with um this right here. So the yo ya is over this kanji. Um. Yo ya. Yo yaku. Finally. Hi. At finally. Last. At last, exactly. So it's used when you're like, woohoo, this thing, ha I achieved my goal. Um, do you know what tsubayaku means? Tsubayaku here is an adjective. No, it no, I'm sorry. It's an adverb. But it does come from an adjective, tsubayai. Tsubayai. Moni, is yoyaku also an adverb? Um, yes, yoyaku and subayai are both adverbs, which means, um, but they're different kind of adverbs. Yoyaku is a time phrase, I would argue, which is um, all adverbs in Japanese. I mean, half of adverbs in Japanese are time phrase, the other half are nouns. And subayaku is um, a uh, adverb that is describing the verb. Um, I guess time phrases in Japanese are also adverbs because you'll go ni and ni is the adverbal marker for nouns. Right? 
Um, so in Japanese, time phrases and adverbs are both adverbs. They're both grammatically the same. It just this denotes some kind of time insinuation, and this denotes more the way in which a verb is done. So they're they're kind of normally separated, I would say, in English brains versus in Japanese brains. They're the same idea. So adverbs in Japanese, when mm -hmm. translate to English, are either when yes. something is done or how something is done. Exactly. Yoyaku when subayaku how. Yes. And do you remember what subayaku meant? Swiftly. Yes. Swiftly done. Swiftly, swiftly moved. Yep, swiftly done versus finally done. You can see that in English, those are also both adverbs. Finally, as an L-Y, and swiftly as an L-Y, which is the English adverb or marker. But for whatever reason, it feels separated in our heads. Uh, like tomorrow right. doesn't feel like an adverb, but it kind of is. Uh, that's why you can put it anywhere in a sentence. Do you know how to read this word? Here it is... is... Also a movement of some sort. Hi, hi. So it's um do shita. You're right, it has a do on it, but it's down here. It's ido. What does ido suru mean? Do is to move. E hi. here is E here, I don't know. I believe it means to transfer, like utsu. Um, but I could be wrong with the kanji. But idol suru means to change locations. It so doesn't really care project... how you change the location. Um, it just means the location you're in has changed. So if you it could say like I moved from the living room to the bedroom, and you would use idol suru for there. Whether or not you ran there, teleported there, flew there, walked there, we don't care. It's only about changing your location. Um, so the subject here is I move, I change my location. Um, and it changes to with a knee or the destination. The way in which I changed was to a different place in this place. Are you read that last kanji? That's one. This is Machi here. I Machi. This mean the town. Perfect. Yep. So you change to a different location in the town. Um, Molly, the, the page that marked with Saki on the top right, meaning it's a review flat card. Right? Yes, the that's why it's sentence. pink. Yes, we have right. read this already in this book. Yeah, so the different colors in here denote different uh, meaning. Blue is a made up sentence. I made this sentence up. Yellow is new vocab word. Um, white is from the book. And pink is this has already showed up inside of the book. And I want to see if you remember the vocab word. And if you don't recognize it, we could read the sentence and be like, what happened? Uh, yes. I hold my breath and I swiftly move my hand. While I'm moving my hand swiftly, finally, the picking wire goes directly right where it's supposed to do and now I can turn the door knob so the door is not locked anymore so yeah it's the so yeah Genbun is original boom Saki is earlier and the other one says Meishi mm -hmm. for noun and Reibu for sentence yeah, yeah. Nice. Hi, hi, hi. I like uh, how do you read this word hey yeah uh... Hey it looks something. like Heya, but it's not Heya. Oh, it's Okudai. It does look like that, too. I could definitely see why you would guess that, because that does look like... That would be the normal married reading, right? Um, this word right here is Yatai, which means um stall yeah. or food cart. Yatai. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. from Heya. Thai. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and how do you read this word? Ido. Ido, perfect. To... Let's... <laughs> Let's go read the line from the book. All right, so here it says, Suki no. 
Yatai. Yadai. Yadai. Yatai. Weirdly enough, it does not Yatai. have Rendaku. Yatai. Okay, so it's saying what kind of store was it? It was the store from previously. Ah, uh, next store. Ah, uh, next one. Suki no yatai e towards the next store. Right. Ido tsuru. I move to. Uh, moving to the next store. Moving to the next store. Toki ni. Toki here that. referring to the time when it. Yep, and it's an adverb. Which means it's an adverb. Hi. <laughs> I'm getting it now. Okay. Benetto no pocketto ni, the pocket of Benet. Benetto no pocketto ni. Ooh. I'll tell you something about this Japanese mm. sentence structure a little bit, but subayaku mo doshite oita. Right. Okay, this is like the, the word that he used. Uh, Oita, like he placed it, oh. placed it in, like how. That is theoretically oku. possible. It could be, um, this oku. Uh, personally, my assumption is that uh, I don't know what kanji it is. It is the oku that tends to be the grammatical oku, which means to do in advance. Oku, um. Wait, the grammatical oku and oku, the verb oku? No, grammatical hmm. oku. Uh, pretty sure it's oku. That's interesting. At all. So he did it in, meaning he did it in order to for something else. Yes, exactly. That That is the thing right here. So it could be oku to place, but, um, and they probably are related to each other, just like how um, kudu to come, uh, Kudu to come and kudu with the kanji to come are the theoretically the same word, which means come, but one of them is a grammatical come, which is used to denote uh, uh, somebody doing an action toward the viewer. And the other come is literally saying someone is coming toward you. So there's a couple of these grammatical versions of verbs. So this oku, this means to do um, in advance. Which is literally just meaning you're doing this because if you don't do it now, something bad is probably going to happen or you're going to forget to do something. That, that's all it means. Um, so here, he's doing this now as if Bennett catches him with a certain thing in his hand that he stole. What do you think Bennett's going to do to the main character? If Bennett catches Khan with a, the lock stone in his hand. I um, think he would do. He take it back. He he probably he wouldn't, wouldn't punch Tan. He wouldn't just take it back. He probably would punch him again, right? <laughs> Bennett's kind of a mean. Oh. Uh, so that's not a good thing to get in trouble with Bennett. So he should right. go put this thing back. So because it's idea that he should do this because he doesn't want to get hurt, that's why they're using the oku here. The right. oita. That, I, that's I, how it's used. There, there isn't really like a good English word for that, but that that's what it is. It's saying, oh, I got to do that. I'm doing that because I don't want to get this stuffing beat out of me. Mani, in this book, in this right. book, I keep getting, I keep mix up the net to and nobody. Ah, uh, so, so nobody would be nice. Nobody would just take this the thing back and be like, <laughs> naughty boy. I was thinking about nobody. When you <laughs> he just would glare at you. Yeah, no, nobody's nice. <laughs> Maybe because my brain is still not used to Japanese yet. Uh, so no, they're not the names. Right. He say doshite, doshite meaning why? Like he asking himself what, what, mm. why, or is he asking himself how? Uh, it's it, it depends on how you the that's not in the sentence, but the doshite can mean why or how, depending on what the English sentence is. Because as I said, we don't actually have a do in English. We use um how plus what interchangeably for the unknown action word. So doshite means an unknown action. Do it. 
So it could be, why did you do that? If you have a raising intonation, right? Doste? Why did you do this certain action that's not mentioned in there? Um, or dosuru means like, what should I do? Um, when was the do? Looks like that was a while ago. Uh, right here. The do you was what we had. Which says, um, what kind of action was used for the shikake, the method? The method is defined as a certain action, which was the hiding mm. of the magical stone. What method was used? Uh, but yeah, doshite is not in this sentence. It just says, Tsugi no yatai ni ido suru toki ni beneto no pakita ni subayaku modoshite um, oita. So yeah, what does this sentence mean? Okay, okay, let's break it down. Subayaku, mm -hmm. adverb. Hi. Swiftly. Swiftly what? Swift, uh, he asking how, how swift. Modoshite. Modoshite, hi. Oh, you were thinking that was doshite. Ah, now I get where the confusion came from. Doshite has a long O. Doshite. This is not mo. Plus go, go step. Um, you can't add a mo to a adverb. That's not grammatically correct. Um, you could if there's a te there. You can say temo. That's okay. So if it said like uh, tabete mo, right? That's okay. We got our adverb tabete with mo afterwards. But yoyaku, yoyaku mo, can't add. Yoyaku it doesn't really work like that. Yoyakite mo. You could you'd have to have the ten there, I feel. Um this is um modoshite, modoshite, which we haven't really talked about, I don't think, but this is the kanji from modoru. Do you know what modoru means? <laughs> He's saying to give it back. Hi, it does mean to give out. So yeah, modoru means I return, modoshite means I give an item back. So he says, I swiftly return it. It referring to the thing he should not have, which is the lock stone. This is very tricky. Oh, I'm get. I'm starting to understand why kanji is important now. They yeah, should just put kanji right <laughs> they there. They should have the kanji for modoru. There would have been much easier to read. <laughs> yes, this mo is it's very confusing. Um, so he's saying hayak modoshite oita. So I'm gonna put this back quickly. And the neat mark the reason, or the neat mark the location as to where I'm going to yes. put this back. The net to no pocket to into the net pocket. Um, so this 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 lead here mark the time when I'm going to do this. Tokini. When did I? Swiftly place the mat the keystone in Bennett's pocket. The time that I did it was when we, myself and Bennett, was moving towards the next stand or stall yes, or store. Exactly. Perfect. Yep. At the time of moving toward the next stall inside of Bennett's pocket, I swiftly return the magical stone. And the reason why he does that because he doesn't want to get in trouble. That's basically what the oita is saying. He he does that now before he forgets it. Um, Money is sorry to interrupt, but quick pause I, I, here. So in general, the pattern of reading a text is the first descriptor is the time, generally. Yes. If if there's going to be a time phrase in there, it's normally at the beginning of the sentence. That is correct. So we start. We start with time, then we move to subject, which in this sentence has Sub been dropped. So it's the subject of the of the paragraph, which is con. Hi. And then the you go to the I verb. Hi. Then the thing that I was noticing with the null and so just now was, um. It was because every time I, I translated to English, it would be the pocket, Bennett's pockets, right? Yes. Or the pocket of Bennett. Yes. The, 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 no, the no works 
as a like subclassing, right? So you have a big category of pockets. Yes. And then the no is basically like you all reduce... no is is adjective turning Bennett into an adjective. All no is that it's turning Bennett into an adjective. It's the exact same thing as e and na. It's just a grammatical thing to note. This is now an adjective, whatever is before here. It um, it just same. no is the adjectival thing for things that used to be nouns, while e is more adjectival for things that are more like what you picture an adjective or kind of verby like type of things and na are things that are kind of in limbo between both ideas it's kind of descriptive but also is kind of physical normally tends to be how like the thing is so like that that tends to be like the idea of not so it's kind of that's why it kind of goes no then na and then e with e being the most adjective like and no being the less adjective like but all these are doing is just turning the thing in front of it grammarly into a adjective but this one is officially always an adjective and this one is kind of like a in-between adjective and this one just needs it yeah but yeah grammarly oh just says goodness. i'm describing the pocket as pets just that's like i'm describing I... the stall as the next stall money that's why the previous sentence when there was a no followed by an adjective not i messed it up because i didn't mm -hmm. understood it I'm, one no was an adjective no adjective and then the other one was a not adjective right next to okay. each other so it's both adjective so it's exactly. hairo no tsume, tsume. Uh, i think it was namerahaka for smooth namerahaka na yes so these are two adjectives right next yes. to each other one was no adjective the other was not adjectives hi and same with this uh, right here. It's another, that's a noun, adjective, noun, adjective, noun, adjective. So there's a lot of adjectives here. Let's see. Um, because earlier I was reading as possessive no. So I was thinking that. Mm, the grays. Gray, yeah. Oh, so, I see yeah. what that'd be. No, earlier I messed it up because I was thinking oh. the smoothness that belongs to the color gray. Ah, the smooth of gray. That that is confusing. So it does work here. The claw, the the nail of the thumb, the bigness of the about of about the size of that. So it sometimes it works. But yeah, it's just this describes this, which this is the describing ishi. that. This little this is hi iro no is describing the ishi. Hi. Yeah. Look at which uh, the rule is though, the noun can describe this. It kind of like has to do with like the front thing. So the noun is an adjective. First, it's a noun. So it's a noun first and an adjective second, which is what the note tells us. So that's why this has that very specific structure, right? Where we have noun as an adjective describing a noun. And then we have this noun as an adjective <laughs> describing a noun. We have this noun as an adjective describing a noun. So it does have a little bit of a building thing when you're using the no, which the not isn't really doing. It's a uh, this is so funny. Adjective this describing like, a noun. Noun describing. This is hilarious. Because it feels like all of Japanese language is the thing in front describing the thing next to it. You are absolutely I, correct. Everything is a relative clause in Japanese. So everything is basically a no, 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 something exactly. followed by another no. Like even every, if it's every, not there, it's there. Yeah, it's everything is a relative clause. That is exactly everything what is going on. Everything is an adjectival. Adjectival for clause. The very last. I assume the very last thing. Yeah, this right it, here. This is a noun. Adjectival. Adjectival right there. Here's our verb with adverb adverb with a archetypal thing stack 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 everything's piggyback riding on each Hi. other uh can you read this uh, word this is hiki and then kai shite, to pull and to return yes what that, that's the literal meaning but it actually has its own meaning as a word um so 
most compound words, you know, in, in Japanese are literally what they're when you pull it together. But every once in a while, we get something like brainwashing, which, you know, which is take the word brain, wash, put it together. Totally different word. That's kind of what hikikaisa is. It's a pull return, but it's not really meaning to pull something to make it return. It has a different meaning. Any idea? Let's see. Genkan haru ni hikikaisa. Kenkan, Horu, Ni. It's mean to return quickly or to trace your step back. To trace right? your steps back. Yes, no quickly in there. I retrace my steps back to the hallway. So it makes sense that the idea maybe is that you're pulling the rope back to where you came from, like your Hansel and Gretel in the story. Uh, I... Whatever that is. <laughs> Hikikaisu, to ret retrace your steps. Retreat. To the Genkan, right? The Genkan. It's like right. the receptions. Well, Genkan is the, the um before the reception hall. The Genkan Haru is right in front of the door. The reception Haru um I think has a slightly different name, which is like you walk into a room where you receive guests, which I believe does have a different name for it. Might even have been on that page. Uh... Yeah, Genkan Horu is just the very front of the building. Okay. Gen Genkan means that it's not in the building yet. You're still outside of the building. Or you're maybe kind you're of in the, in building, the building. Not... I don't know you're if like other... The... <laughs> you're in the building, but you're not in a room yet. <laughs> You've entered okay. through the door. Uh, you're in the building. You're no longer being cold. But you have not entered any specific room yet. That's the Genkan. Um, Hi. Hi. That's super oh. cool. I I kind of I kind of read about or I kind of like thought about the Genkan thing once. It's kind of like this Japanese. Oh, the English of, word like, is foyer. Foyer. But Only I've seen it in like one the, book. <laughs> but that that's what that is. Money. <laughs> money. This Genkan thing was really interesting. Mm -hmm. Because it felt like the Japanese language or culture had this idea of like the front and the back, which mean like mm -hmm. the outside and the inside or the out group right. and the in group. But in between those two categories, there's the Genkan, which is it's like the barrier, the place, the place where it's in between. You know, you're not you about to go into the inside from the outside, but you're not the outside, but you're not on the inside yet. You, aye, aye. you, are, you like in between. Yeah. You are about to go into the inside. Cool. Oh, yep. Interesting. Isn't it? Yep. Mysterious barrier. Um, can you read this word for me? Uh, it's kuri kuri kais kaisita. Hi, kuri kaisita. What does that mean? It's um. Okay, so we have kaishita again, would mean to return, but here is not hiki, but it's kuri. Hi, different verb at the front. Kuri kaisu. Any idea what it means? I might need the kanji. Hi, kuri from Hi, is a kuri kai is this guy right here. Looks like that. Um, this word kuri kaisu means to repeat. Looks like oh. the guy. Right. I repeated the same nobody repeated the same spell. Let's get a lot of space. What, what, what does the kuri by itself mean? Kind of just means um a loop, I think, like to repeat. It's kind of saying repeat repeat. Um repeat and return? Yeah. Kuru. Um, means to spin a thread, to turn the pages, to count the days, to open one by one, to reel. Um, but I've only ever really seen it used um, for like the spinning kind of thing. I've never seen it to use to turn pages. So I normally use mekuru for that. Uh, so it's the re revelation, re re uh, the spin. Oh, to it's a spin. I guess it is to spin, but uh, it's like 
yeah, to to spin, to reel, kind of idea. Oh, the root word is kuru. Mm -hmm. Spin to turn yep. something. I get it. Okay. Yeah. Kurikaisu. And can you read this word for me? Mitsumekaitsu. Mitsumekaitsu. Mitsume? Hi. Mitsumekaitsu. What could this possibly mean? Nobody got Oreo Mita. Ore mo Mitsumekaitsu. I glance back. That's really close. So glance would be hirari to iru. Um, mitsumeru actually means to gaze at something, like to stare at something quite a bit. And kaisu is the back. So when it's not to glance back, it's the gaze back, like the I look back at him. Probably just use look here in English. Nobody looks at me. I look back at him. Mitsumekaisu. Um, what did hikikaisu mean? Trace back. Hikikaisu. Hi, hi, hi. Can you read this bolded word up here for me? Bold it is... Sorry, the circled word. Uh, the bridge. The hashi. Hi. It is a hashi. What hashi? Is this a yoru hashi? This is yami. Yami. And then afternoon. Uh, night. Yoru. Night. That is yoru. Hi. Is it yoru or is it pronounced somehow different here? Yong. Uh, it's just a yo. Yami yo. Hashi. Is there any yeah. rendaku in here? Is there any rendaku? Yami yo bashi. Hi. Yami yo bashi. Which is the bridge of darkness night. Yami yo bashi. Um, can you read this word for me? Um, a cart, a Hi. kuruma, but it's not a kuruma, it's renraku, so it's guruma. I actually, because of the she here, we don't actually need rendaku, but that is a good guess. So here, there's no um, hiragana breather, so it's better to have the rendaku, but here, because of the hiragana breather, it doesn't have it for whatever reason, so it actually is just kuruma. Um, but what's the front part? Te and then push. Hi, so what is te... push? Push. Te osh. No, not all. Oh. It is all. You were correct. Uh, I'm sorry, oh, I was wrong. Oh. It is guruma. I don't know why I've had guruma in my head. Wait, what is push? Osu? Do you remember? Osu. Hi. So it's te oshiguruma. Hi. Te oshiguruma. So this is a cart. What kind of cart is it? It's it's a hand push cart. Yes, car. a hand push cart. So like a wheelbarrow or something. So um, so not a pulling cart. So if you're pulling it, it's no longer um. A uh, tail sheet that'd be like a hiki <laughs> hiki kuruma. Um, let's um, read the sentence from the book. So it's te oshi guruma ga Hi. the subject. Yes. If by ni ni marks adjective. Hi, because the verb is not it. If by here is the noun. No, it's not the noun. Is ni 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 is turning and of oh my goodness, okay. So there's there's not adjective. There's no adjective. There's e adjective, and then this ni is also an adjective. No, it's an adverb. It's describing the verb naru. Naru is a verb, it's it's not a noun. Is an adverb, so ipai is a it's a noun. Ni makes it into an adverb, Hi. right, Moni? Yes. Naru is to become. So, how does it become? It become ipa in a ipai way. Hi. And ipai is what is ipai? Ipai, ipai means is, full. 
full. A state of fullness. It buys full. I... So then it becomes full. Okay, got it. It's in the state of being full. It's filled yes. up. What has become full? To him in the cart. Hi, hi. The 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 push the cart. Um to is in me is an no to comma meaning hmm, to is not an here. It is You're right, immediately it's not an after. Yeah, immediately after. Uh, so right after the cart becomes full, what do they do? We trace ourselves back. We return back to the dark bridge, to the dark Darkness night, bridge. night bridge. Perfect. Do you know what darake means? Darake. Darake. You don't have to cheat. Darake, darake, darake. is also full. Both ipai and darake uh -huh. mean to be full. Darake is full in like a negative way. Like the room is full of junk would be... um. Garakta darake. Well, eat by is more positive, right? This cart is full of food and groceries. So that's why it's eat by ni naru rather than darake ni naru. Eat by is more of a positive thing, uh, full in a good way. Um, Do you know how to read this word? Shou. Luck. Shou. Right. Perfect. How about this one? Oh, this is one too high, so it's he met he met that he met perfect. That. How about this one? This one is uh, ya as in like a store, and then tai ya tai. Hi, perfect. Da, 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 da. Hmm, I'm gonna get there very soon, and as soon as a word loads. Okay, can you read this word for me? This one is. The Eastern Bank. Yes. Kagashi. They're um, dating. Yep. Higashi. Higashi. And then the Sai is Gawa. Hi. Higashi Gawa. Higashi Gawa. Can you read this word for me? Uh, the bolded word is Hiso. Ah, uh, that the, it is the kanji for isogu. You're right, isogu, which is um an adverb, or it's not a verb. Isoide. It is a verb. Isoide. Hurry up. Um. However, when it's a na adjective, it has a totally one hundred percent different reading. Do you know what it is? Hmm. Uh, this is saying that it's a steep slope. Hi. Steep slope. Q. Yes. Q. Q na, and then the slope is Ishi. Yep. No. Good guess. It's not Ishi. Ishi is rock. It's high, hash, not hashi, not Hishi. Oh, that's end. Um, this is Saka. Saka. Q na Saka. A sleep, sleep slope. You know what it meant, though, which is half the word. Um, let's go read this example sentence. Um, kawa no nishi is the east, is the west. Nishi gawa no tasogare the twilight. Uh, district is te. Mm -mm. Is it te? Te from te. Yasodaki te means mansion. This is not Just mansion. The... This is this is the the alley. So uh, this was district. Uh, yes. This is the district. So it's um guy. Hi. Guy. Taso gare guy no. Um, directions. Right. Um, mo, mu, mo. mu, mukai wa, kawa no, higashigawa, no, 
あけぼうのガイダー。はい。あけぼうのあけぼうのガイダー。So、here, start with the subject, which is Mukai. Okay. Here it say that towards the direction of Mukai. So Mukai towards... is a corner direction word, but it's there's not a e、eh、here. There is a no here. Um, so it's actually saying the opposite. So across opposite. from Hasogare Gai. Hi. Across from the Tasogare, the twilight district that is on the eastern bank of the river. We'll start with rivers, eastern bank, twilight district. River Eastern Bank, no, River Western Bank, Twilight District, across from, um, there is, da is the, is the cupola for there is, Hi. um, the, uh, Don District, Akebo, Akebo no, the Don District on the Eastern Bank of the river. Hi. Perfect. Yep. Across from the Twilight District on the west side of the river, which is over here, the western side of the river, which is the Tasugare District, across from it is Akebonogai, which is on the eastern side of the water. West, east. Um, how do you read? Oh, sorry. How do you read this word? Saka. Hi, Saka. Perfect. And what does me what does it mean? Saka is a slope, but、Hi. Saka na is a fish. <laughs> You're right. That's interesting. Hi.、Uh, it's me wa da seta. Hi, me wa da seta. From me wa da se. You know, I'll show the kanji for you. Me wa da se. To look down on something, to look upon、Close. something. What does it is、um, the word that means across, to send something across. So, me, what does it means to look across. So, it doesn't have to、oh. be down. In this context, you are looking down at something because we are ue, but what does it doesn't mean down. It just means across, to look across something. So, like to look across a river, for example, would also be me, what does it.、Um, Do you know how to read this word for street? Tori. Tori. Hi. This tori. Is the... And、yeah. in this case, it'd be Dori because it's a, that's what that are little noun things. And do you know what kune kune means? It's a sound effect. Kune kune to. Sigate? Sigata? Sagate. Sagate. It wind, winding, winding in the downward directions. Perfect. Winding down.、Um, let's go read the whole sentence then. Kure kure, kure kure. Kune kune.、Ah. Satsurai tori. The street named Satsurai.、Um, wa kawa made, meaning to the destination of the river. Kune kune to sagaste ite. This clause basically s a y that the streets, the sagaste streets, yeah, that is Satsurai toward, Street. The Satsurai Street that is towards the river,、um, it's winding, it's, it's a winding street. It is a winding, it's winding street. towards the river.、Right. Yep, it's winding down towards the river. Once it hits the river,、yes. it's no longer the street anymore. It's winding down towards the river. Saka no. Saka no.、Uh, ue, ka, ue kara wa. Machi no higashi. Kawa no Akebo no Gai 
ga miwa taseta. Taseta meaning it's is it causative here? Is it causative? Um, this is no. causative for miwa tase to um can. Sorry, it is potential for watase wataseru. So he's saying that I can see or I can look over um it's not he that can look over. Oh it he can, can look be over. Saw. Yes. That is true. It's, 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 describing, it's describing the God here. So it's saying that the Dawn district can be seen from from across it can be seen across it can be seen across uh, uh from the eastern bank of the town so here it might be easier to just like like you are, you're translating it right but just for for like getting a nice english sentence to get this between here and just do a generic and in between so our subject here is the Sasurai Street. What do we know about the Sasurai Street? I'm saying that towards, it's, it's not towards, the made meaning the destination. So the, the street is winding down, to, the street is winding down at the river. Hi, right. winding down so to the winding, river. Uh, and two it's works to the in river. Hi. And like, what else do we know about the certain location? From the slope, right? From the kara, Hai. from on top of the slope. Um, from from the top of the slope, on the slope, not top of the slope, but on the slope, the town, the town on the eastern side, that is the dawn district can be seen right from across yes you can look um across over um akibonogai the don district which is the city's eastern um area that and you can see this when you're standing on top of the hill that is totally correct perfect i'm just um editing a thing while thinking about it I didn't ever copy it because uh it's over. the there there was this one word yes uh, but I was the internet was slow so it's like yes it um money always so twisty to read a Japanese sentence because two things tend to happen in my head one is that the ordering is it's from like from a large to a small like a big category mm -hmm. to a small category. Opposite it's of always small to big, to but it's just uh, yeah. small to big. They go from big to small, and then the second thing that they do that we don't like to do is they keep putting thing in the uh like uh, passive. Uh, yeah, tense, they passive do mode, and we often use the active mode, so it is definitely it's twisty in the mind. That is definitely a big difference. Is the is kune kune. put her my put her mind focus on kune kune. yeah translate that with the um having it so that street with the subject is hard. Yes, the street can be surface surveyed from up on the hill is definitely not very Englishly. Okay, so this is what we want. I want to put the kudate because it has the same meaning of sagate. It means it's going down, but it's kudate because we're not literally going down here. The thing that's descending is the river, so it's pronounced differently. Kudate than sagate. Uh, so that's what I was trying to do with that there. So slow. Like, how, how can they speak in a passive way constantly throughout the whole book? Oh, yeah, they're just they used it? to it. Okay, yeah, they got their oh, math skills. Um, wait, I actually got look at something real quick. But yeah, I'm gonna have us do one more sentence because my internet has been so bad. I feel like that slowed us down by like a full sentence. <laughs> so we'll start here. Do you remember how to say control to con to 
to govern. To govern. That was. Govern. Right. Is not Hachimeru or is it Hachimeru? It does. It's not. It, it does look like that kanji. This is o ba osameru. Koko osameru no wa machi no maryoku o shikasadoru. Shikasadoru yuryoku na majutsu tachi da. So the ones who govern this place are those magician guys who have the who have a lot of um influence and who also are the ones that um govern the magic of the city. So what was govern again? Mm. Ha, um sama osama. Osa. Os Osameru. Osa. Oh my goodness. That's why they get the word sama like osama like like a lord. Maybe. A lord is a person who governs. Osameru, it sounds the same. It does sound similar, but probably just a coinky dink, my guess. Uh, can you I read guess. this word for me? Um, chi? Yep. Chi -ki. So chi -ki means um area or a region, like district, it's just a location. Just being like, yeah, there's an area here. It starts with chi. Do you know mm -hmm. what it ended with? Iki. Hi, Iki. Chiki. Let's go read Funny, the example. How is that different from right? guy? By what? How is different from like from guy? using the word. So uh, guy goes after a word, like a noun, which is a title of something, like Tasogare Guy, the Twilight District. Or in America, you might say like Bellingham Guy, the Bellingham District. Chiki is on its own. You're just saying it's a district. You can't say it's a guy. Right, that's that's not grammatically correct because guy is something being added to a name to let you know what kind of thing it is you're looking at. Like it's it's like how New York could be the New York the state or New York the city. In Japanese, the state and the city would probably have a kanji afterwards that says this is the state, this is the city, this is the district. Versus in English, you just would say New York is the name and New York City is the name of the city. Like the word city is there. That is a, the same word as the English word, but that's not the same for Japanese because of their married um, rule for things. So the guy here is not really seen on its own. That is a married thing. Same thing with um, cho, which is, um, oh. which is this kanji. This is another way, basically, to say district. There are the two different kind of districts. There, I think the difference is the size. Ko, I believe, is smaller than guy. But they're both district words that go after. You can say akibo no cho. You'll see this like an akibo no guy are both things you might see after a district name. So the this is just a, it's like san or kun, basically. So it's the thing that goes after the name of the place. But you know, oh yes, that is a city, that is a lake. But in its own, you don't see that by itself to mean district. So the category word yes. district is a separate word in Japanese. It's different than in English. Wakata. Okay. Example okay. sentence. Uh, here. Um, jo, koku. No, not koku. Onna tōshaku. Onna. What was shaku again, Moni? Koshaku? Onna koshaku? Yes, that is the duchess. Koshaku. Woman koshaku. Right. Woman good. Onna koshaku no osameru. Ichi iki wa akebo no gai da. The district where the Duchess govern is Akebono district. Perfect. Yep. The uh, Akebono district. Nice. So this word is one of those few words that is both used like Dori when it goes after a name and also like this when it's just meaning street. How is this red when it's just street? Tori. I Tori. 
to. Perfect. Tori no to. Can you read this for me? Seiketsu. Perfect. So seiketsu means to be like clean or sanitary, right? Opposite of probably um, the hiku, the tasugare guy. Seiketsu. Nice and clean. Um, let's go read this example sentence. Akebo no guy. Akebo no guy no tori wa seiketsu da. Akebono district or the streets in Akebono are clean. Perfect. Akebono guys, streets are clean. Perfect. So here will be our last line of the day. Akebono guy wa onna kochaku ga ome osa osame osameru it osameru Dono. Dono. Mm. Dono tori. Dono tori mo. Right. So this dono blank mo, it's the same thing as nani, which happens with nani mo, right? Nani means what? Nani mo means everything or nothing, right? Or dare means who, but dare mo means no one and everyone. Like, daremo nai, there's no one here. Daremo iru, everyone is here. So here, this dono means which? Dono michi. Sorry, domo tori. Whichever tori. Then we're adding a mo to mean all ever. Every single tori. So, dono tori mo is basically the same as tori, toyu, tori. There, there's no real difference in meaning between these two. <laughs> tori, tori. Ah, all of the streets. Hi. Any of the streets. Any, whichever street you look at, there's going to be seiketsu. They clean. Seitsetsu. Oh, interesting. They did not use kirai. Or kire. Or pretty. Hi. It's also clean. Hi, hi. Yep. Whichever, yeah. every single street is pretty and clean. So, all together, we say the, the sentence again. All together, here it say that regard the Don district, inside of the district, de, within the boundary of the Ichishi, right. the Chishi. Um, so, the district that is governed by the Duchess, every street is clean, or every Perfect. street are clean. Exactly. That just knows where to put her tax money. Clean those streets. Hi. So yeah, that's where we'll be ending for 